Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Yes Bofferson and on this channel here we are talking about skincare and we are talking about hair care as well and we are in particular talking about gray hair and what you can do about it. So uh, when you see me here it is just as if you saw me on the high street. I don't hide behind a, a filter and it is my natural hair color. It's not colored hair. It is my natural hair color. So I have made uh, various uh, videos uh, where I have told you what I did in order to combat those uh, few uh, gray hairs that I had. I did not have a lot of gray hair. I just had a few of them and I noticed that uh, when I did certain things then the color would come back in those hair strands. So uh, that is why I made various videos in order to tell you what is going on and uh, what I have done in order to combat the uh, gray hair. And uh, it is nice to hear from people that it has actually helped them but it is a little bit um, concerning that it's not helping everyone because in theory this basically should help but the thing is that for some people it's not uh, helpful in the sense that they don't see any sort of a change in their hair it might be that when they're looking elsewhere on their body it might be that some of those hairs there will uh, respond and it is so that it might be that elsewhere on your body you will see a response but uh, on your hair in your on your head you won't see a response so apparently there is some variation there one thing is that uh, when you're having a hydrogen peroxide going on in your body, and we all have that, and uh, in time we get uh, worse and worse at um, stemming the tide of malice from that, basically. And uh, there you are getting some uh, gray hairs. So uh, it is so that if you have a lot of hydrogen peroxide, or I would say we are, of course, different, all of us, though that we are all humans, but uh, some people are better at producing some stuff than other stuff and so on. But uh, it is so that with hydrogen peroxide, it can actually be so uh, damaging for some that uh, the uh, melanocytes, they are being uh, destroyed. And uh, the melanocytes, they are those where the melanin is being produced. And uh, that is um, the melanin that you will see in your hair strand. But uh, if your melanocytes, they are dead well then you can't really produce any sort of uh, melanin in them so that is obviously a problem and that is what I'm thinking is going on when you are having some people that are saying well it actually it helps them and it uh, helps me but some people it doesn't help and I can see for example on my husband that some of his hairs have become much much darker than they ever were but uh, some of the other hairs they just simply don't respond and uh, I'm thinking that for those uh, hair follicles they are in the melanocytes they have simply been uh, so um, oxidized that they are destroyed. Now there are uh, also um, when you have the melanocytes then there are melanocyte uh, stem cells as well and uh, it might be that they are simply just uh, dormant or they are suppressed so much by hydrogen peroxide that they are basically not uh, working so they're not producing melanocytes and uh, there are some uh, medicaments that can actually go in and help uh, revive them again or make them produce melanin again. So uh, in this video here we are talking a little bit more about uh, what you can do or maybe do because some of those uh, things that I will be uh, talking about today are things that you cannot just go and buy like uh, over the counter. And it might be that uh, you have heard some stories about some people that were treated for cancer and they had some uh, sort of uh, medicaments uh, that was used in order to deal with that. And suddenly they went from having gray hair in order, and then they suddenly had uh, their normal hair color back again. And it is so that some of those uh, medicaments, they can actually go in and stimulate um, something like a melanogenesis, so the production of uh, melanin, but also they can go in and be anti-inflammatory. So the thing is that when you're having a lot of hydrogen peroxide going on in your body, then there will also be some uh, sort of um, inflammation. And inflammation is uh, not great for uh, melanocytes and for the production of melanin. And there you can go in and uh, lose uh, the color. So some of these uh, medicaments, they are basically working in order to be uh, anti-inflammatory. So that is something that will be working for some, but again, I don't think it will be working for everybody. And surely if your stem cells for the melanocytes, they are not there anymore, well, there's nothing you can do. But uh, if you can uh, revive uh, those uh, stem cells in order to produce more uh, melanocytes, then there is hope that you can get a uh, color back in your hair. So uh, there are some uh, companies, they are now uh, looking into what sort of uh, medicaments they can use. And there are various combinations where they are testing out various uh, things. So uh, there were some studies uh, many years ago, so like uh, like a long time ago, it was like in the 1940s or 1941, and they were looking at uh, vitamin Bs, and uh, they uh, tried that for some people, and uh, it sort of helped them. And you might have heard that some people are taking vitamin B, and it really helps them with their hair, and uh, 
they got a lot of color back in their hairs. But the thing is, usually with such uh, studies on vitamins, then uh, it is because people, they are having a, a deficit. So they're basically lacking those vitamins. And uh, there it can go in and, and help them. But if you have uh, enough uh, vitamins in your body to run a, a normal life, basically, then it is very unlikely that something like that will go in and help. And some of those studies, they have not been repeated. So uh, we don't really know if it was just because people, they needed those vitamins or if it's something that will help in general. It seems like it is not something that will help in general. So what else uh, can you do? Well, uh, there is a, a lot of uh, research going on, of course, and uh, oftentimes it is so that when you are seeing some sort of uh, medication that is working for uh, something that it's supposed to work for, and then it has this sort of side effect, uh, it can be a positive side effect, like you're getting more uh, color back in your hair, then uh, it can be something that uh, you can go in and look at and see, can it actually be used for uh, gray hair, stuff like that. But usually it's things like that will have some uh, side effects that uh, you can use it for combating something that is really disastrous for you and then you will tolerate uh, the side effects but uh, if you're just going in to have uh, a color back in your hair you most likely will not tolerate uh, a lot of side effects so uh, in that sense it can be a, a little bit tricky now i've looked uh, at an article that is uh, looking at a lot of studies so uh, mainly a lot of the things they are talking about is uh, anti-inflammatory drugs and uh, you cannot easily sort of uh, get that but uh, something that can help with the uh, inflammation in the body is something that i've been uh, talking about uh, before and that is uh, some of these uh, oligoproanthocyanidins uh, like you can get from a uh, french grapeseed extract or you can get it from uh, this uh, pine bark and uh, the thing is that uh, those things, they are basically consisting of uh, flavonoids. And uh, it is so that uh, in this uh, article here, and I'll link to it so you can read it yourself, uh, at the bottom they are talking about that uh, these uh, flavonoids, they can actually go in and help. And they can help in the sense that um, they are anti-inflammatory. And uh, I mean, they do a lot of things. If you look it up, that is kind of like... It seems like there is nothing they are not really good for, basically. So uh, in this instance here, they are talking about how they can uh, get a color back into the hair strands. But they are talking about it in a special way. And that is like, uh, maybe you have seen some people that uh, they have had a... Um, an injury to their head or something like that and where that injury was it's simply uh, the color uh, in the hair strands there it never came back really and uh, what they are looking at when they are looking at these uh, flavonoids then uh, they are saying that actually when you are healing up and they are adding these uh, flavonoids then you, they can see that actually it is so that some of the uh, melanocytes from the skin is actually somehow uh, stimulating uh, the melanocytes in the hair follicles and thereby when they're using these uh, flavonoids they can actually benefit from those uh, melanocytes in the skin in order to stimulate uh, the color uh, back in the hair follicles that would otherwise maybe not have uh, a color because there's been uh, a very strong injury uh, in uh, the skin. So that is uh, one way they are talking about uh, what could uh, help. So in that essence, I would say, or in that sense, I would say that uh, something like uh, French uh, grapeseed extract, um, as I'm taking, uh, I would think uh, that would be something that uh, could be uh, helpful. But I'm also thinking that even that you're not seeing a change in your hair follicles because the uh, melanocytes are simply dead, then I would say it still will pay off in to take uh, something uh, like this and some of the other things that I'm talking about because though that you cannot uh, bring the color back in your hair strand, then actually there's no need not to do something good for the rest of your body. And uh, these things I'm talking about, it will be helpful for your skin, it will be helpful for your nails and general well-being as such. So in that sense, uh, I would uh, make sure that I had something that was anti-inflammatory uh, in my uh, diet. And there's something like uh, this one here, so I'm saying, and I'm not uh, paid to say anything about uh, this stuff here, but it is just the one I use. And it's the one I find is very much the cheapest. And that is uh, basically because of the way it is being uh, produced, that they have... Um, a lot of uh, yielding uh, from uh, these uh, poor anthocyanidins up to uh, penta mias and uh, that is uh, basically what you want but some of the other ones they have a lot uh, higher numbers and that is not what you want so uh, another thing is that uh, with those uh, flavonoids they are talking about that uh, on the uh, beta ring there are two hydroxyl groups uh, and what that means is that uh, they are saying that basically those that looked like that were those that were the active ones so uh, you might have heard about something called a quercetin which is something you can uh, buy in the health food uh, shops and I think it has been on the market for many many years 
and that is basically something that is on the beta ring has a two hydroxyl group so uh, in that essence that should be something that should be working if uh, you can get the benefits from uh, what they are talking about here though that they are talking about when you're having a damage and uh, you will not get a uh, color back in your hair because of that damage so in that sense it worked there but uh, they were not uh, digesting it or the mice were not digesting it they were basically it was um, smeared onto the skin onto the, uh, the wound and uh, thereby it was uh, helpful so there are some uh, other uh, things uh, that uh, companies are looking into and there is actually a company that is selling something that is called Helmitoyl Tetrapeptide 20 and um, that is something you can get in a product. Uh, I have not tried that product. I will give you a link to the web page where you can have a look at it. Uh, will it work in reality? I don't know. I have not tried it myself and um, obviously uh, what they are talking about is obviously uh, fantastic and really going to really help you uh, a whole lot. But uh, uh, will it do that in the end? I'm not quite sure. But uh, they are again talking about that um, ingredient uh, in this uh, article here. And you can read about that uh, yourself as well. I have a link to the article uh, below so you can have a little look at it. But uh, usually these things are very, very uh, expensive. So I would say still, even that you don't see um, a benefit from what I have been talking about uh, so far, then I would say that it's worth doing it and also uh, because... Um, even then you cannot revive those gray hairs that you have. You maybe will be able to reduce the amount of gray hairs they will get in the future. So uh, yes, that is uh, what I would say um, is the latest I have found out that basically if some of the uh, melanocytes, they are dead, then obviously you, you cannot bring them back again. But if they are dormant, then maybe uh, there will be something that you can do in order to revive it. They are talking about um, an extract from a uh, placenta and uh, that is maybe it doesn't sound that nice but apparently that is uh, stimulating something so that they are stimulating the the melanocytes uh, to um, or the stem cells of those in order to produce a lot of uh, melanocytes again and that way uh, get uh, some color back into the hair but uh, again that is not something you just go and buy off the shelf though so i think actually there are some products that are saying that they are having stuff like that in their products so maybe that will be uh, working but uh, yes i think the issue is that uh, if the melanocytes they simply are not there anymore they are gone then obviously you cannot uh, revive those but uh, I would say still as I said before doing these things here will uh, have a, a positive benefit uh, on your body or at least that is what I have seen on my body so uh, when I spoke about uh, this uh, last time then I was saying that uh, I was taking a certain amount I can't really remember how many I took but at the moment I'm experimenting with I think I took uh, two in the morning I took, took uh, two in the evening but um, at the moment I'm actually taking three in the morning I'm taking three uh, in the afternoon and I'm taking three in the evening just to kind of like see what is going on and uh, that might be a little bit uh, a lot and it might also be a little bit expensive though I would say when you're looking at this sort of stuff this is uh, by far what I've seen is uh, the cheapest and it's also something that is actually what it's supposed to be and not some sort of a uh, fake stuff and uh, I would say what I have noticed is that uh, I have seen more hair grow on my head I will never get a lot and a lot and a lot of hair so uh, I'm, I'm that is not my genetic uh, makeup so that's not gonna happen but I've noticed that uh, though I have spoken about that before when I'm taking something like methionine then uh, that helps with uh, gaining some some hairs I would say uh, using this one here I've seen uh, a lot more hair uh, coming out as well and also it kind of like stays on my head for longer where usually I, there was a lot of uh, hair fall basically but uh, something like this what I have noticed is actually that my uh, pores are starting to shrink and uh, yes they will say that well your pores cannot shrink they have an natural size and yes that is obviously true but uh, the more full of stuff they are sebum and stuff like that the larger they will look so uh, it seems that uh, taking something like that has actually made my complexion even more clear so we really kind of like I was thinking that it was kind of like okay but I just noticed after a couple of months of taking uh, this stuff here then uh, really something happened to my skin it also feels a lot more plump and uh, I am not uh, particularly young, but I'm not uh, above a critical age, as I would say, yet. But uh, I'm getting there. So I would think uh, something like uh, when you're getting a little bit older, then uh, something like this, definitely, that is uh, what I would do. And then uh, maybe in the future, there will be some stuff that can actually help us with uh, gaining a bit more color in our hair. Because obviously, 
that is supposed to uh, when you're having more uh, hair in uh, color in your hair then it means that your body is actually working better so it's not just about do you like the look of white hair or gray hair or whatever that's not the point it simply just means that if you have a lot of oxidation going on in your body then gray hair is just a, a sign that yes you have a lot of uh, hydrogen uh, peroxide going on in your body and that is not particularly great so uh, i would say that is uh, something i would try uh, to stem the tide of malice from that at best I can and uh, at the moment I would say that something like uh, this and uh, maybe a quercetin uh, that you can also buy I have not tried that but that is uh, from what I read in the article something that uh, one could uh, look into as well so uh, yes uh, that was my words on uh, this little subject here and hope it was helpful and it maybe get you some uh, sort of a uh, knowledge so you have an understanding of uh, what is actually going on in your hair and why some of the stuff I had said previously is not working for you so uh, yes if you'd like to see more of the sort of videos please subscribe hit the bell and do all the things you must do not to be notified when i upload more of this sort of videos thank you for watching see you bye